Get away from me, you man. Come pet. here, you fucking rat. Whoa. Hey, I'm coming for you, you fuck. What the? How I ran a lot from home, but it's good that my dad was run over by a garbage truck so that he no longer interferes with me and hurts me. Well, I wish that house could be my real mother. Who is it knocking on the door? Sweetie? What's wrong with you? Why did you come here to my house? Mom, look what just happened to me. My uncle tried to rape me. I left the house cornered with my uncle. Then I stood on the street, and Ferdinand was hit by a garbage truck flying through the skies. That's why I came here because I want to go to San Diego. That Ferdinand is a sick and pedophile. But don't worry daughter, do you want to go to San Diego with me to get out of your difficult situation and your damn uncles? Yes, I prefer it. I already want to get out of here. But there is a problem, mom. What is the problem daughter? What are they going to do with Jake here? I haven't seen him everywhere for three days. It sure got lost. He is not lost, I will confess finally. Jake is in San Diego with my husband Larry because he is going to a lab to give the DNA results. Trust me, I pulled out my sister's hair to give it to Larry to pass the DNA test. Now I know why Jake here didn't show up for three days. But thank goodness Jake here is fine, because he's in San Diego with your husband. That's right, if the DNA result came out positive, it could be your uncle's official son. Or if it is negative, that means that Jake is robbed by your uncle's IQ. Hopefully we do. Let's hope the DNA results came out. Well, pack your bags and let's get out of here. Okay. Bingo. Now I know where they are going. I'm going to call Emma right now. Emma, we already have it. Viley and the unfortunate Giselle are going to San Diego. We have to follow her to get her back. Hey mom, do you think my uncles are bad? I think so, because my own sister stole from you since you were a newborn baby and I was a teenager ready to be a mother because that was my dream. Also, I have got pregnant when I was 15 years old, and your real father is Larry, my husband. And imagine daughter, your father is a Hispanic actor who has participated in various soap operas during the 2010s. Really? Yup. And moreover, after confirming my pregnancy in 2003, my parents supported me and helped me to move forward. And you know that in April 2009 I had my second daughter named Merlin, who was actually a younger sister. So I have a younger sister? That is the best news that has given me my whole life. And hey mom? When will she get the DNA results? I'm nervous. I think right now. I'm going to call my husband Larry right now. Look Ferdinand, there is my daughter and vid harpy of my sister. We have to rescue her as soon as possible. Good idea Emma, let's crash into Giselle's car first. What was that mom? I don't know, but I'm going to look back. Holy schnikes are your uncles who are following us. Get back to our daughter you scumbag kidnapper. Oh no, they are telling you to go back to them but I will not allow that. But how did you know about us? We don't know, but I think that one was hiding in the tree outside my house. Don't worry, hold on because we're going to save you from those scoundrels. Okay. Oh that's useless Emma, shoot them right now. Great idea Ferdinand. I'm going to hunt down those bitches. Hey you damn kidnapper, get back to our daughter right now. Oh no! They're shooting at us? Don't worry daughter, we'll be fine, get down and hold on. Oh gravity gravity grab crap crap. Do not run away, accelerate. I can't stand the damn nightmare anymore. I'm going to call the police right now. I do not have any other alternative. Hey Sebastian. 
Yes, babe. When will the day be that we get married? I really don't know, Facundo. Let me think. Well, get married? Among us? Well, I don't know what would happen to my fellow police officers, except this, you know, society is not as open as we imagined. But why? It is for our goods. Is that society is like this. Since 2016, while Donald Trump became president of the United States, some citizens of this country increased hatred and homophobia by 86.6% registered in 2018. Well, what if we can get married together but in a safe and inclusive country? How about Canada? There it is more inclusive than the United States. Well, Canada sounds interesting, because it is an inclusive and passive country to live for the LGBT community. Okay, how about we get married in June in Toronto? What do you think? It sounds interesting, but can I tell you something? Yes, what do you want to say? I love you. I love you too, Facundo. Crap. Who interrupted our gay kiss? Hello, you are calling 911. My name is Sebastian Faslicht. What is your emergency? Police. Hello? I want an emergency. A white car is following us. Also a woman is armed and they are shooting at us in the middle of the road. Please save us. What? Okay, thanks for your emergency. Don't worry, I'm coming for you to save you from those criminals. Let's see tell me, what color of the car you are driving? We are driving a red car. It is a 2019 Toyota Sienna. And those who are following me are those criminals. It is a 2004 Ford Explorer car. Let me see. Oh no I see them. The white car is exceeding the speed limits. I'm on my way. Oh no, it's the police. And they are following us. Emma Anderson, Anderson and Ferdinand, Ferdinand Devlin, Devlin. Stop, stop the car, the car right, right now. But what the hell? How do they know our names? I think it was the Moro of Viley who called 911 to stop us and so we don't interfere with them. Emma, you better puncture their tires with your gun for snitches. Good idea, Ferdinand. I'm going to shoot the tires. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we have to be at the viewpoint to see the very beautiful landscape. The landscape is very beautiful. Yes, Dorian. Also, the landscape is as beautiful as in other places. You know that paradox? As long as we are here, we have to dwell here as a house. What do you think about this? Sounds interesting, Lapis. It makes me want to take a selfie with that place. Can we take a selfie together? Yes, we took a picture together. Okay. Viley Margaret Anderson. Get out of the car right now. You're in serious trouble, young lady. He has a gun. Let's get out of here. Viley, open the door and get out of the car. I said, no, I'm not getting out of the car. Did you hear Emma? You are not going to take her home because I am sure you two are going to mistreat her and punish your daughter for fun. Now swear. I told you to get out of the car immediately. What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you follow me? Why do you punish me for no reason? Tell me the truth, Mum. Emma Anderson and Ferdinand Devlin, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Viley Anderson and Giselle Anderson. They have the right to remain silent. Hey, hey, hey. That is a serious mistake. You have no right to arrest us. We are witnesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now am I going to believe that story? No. You were the one who shot your sister's car, right? And were you trying to kill your daughter and sister in the middle of the road? This is called property damage and attempted murder. Capiche? Capiche your fucking mother. Hear me, you have no right to offend my boyfriend. What's wrong with you? In addition, we are telling the truth and what you did with them is a base and a very great crime. Emma Anderson? You're a stupid scumbitch. He? Call me? A? Scumbitch? Oh no, Emma, what have you done? I'm not a scum bitch, you dumbass. Oh no. Facundo. Facundo, wake up. Please don't die. Set. Bar. Bar. B-A-S. T-N. This. It. Is. The. Far. Far. Fair. Re. Well. Please don't talk, Facundo. You're going to hurt yourself. 
Don't die please, I'm going to call the ambulance. It's not worth calling the ambulance because I'm leaving in this wo world. Please do not go, stay with me, if you are not here I will die. Don't worry about me, you are a very strong man. Take good care, Sebus Tien. Lacundo. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Set B A S T N. Oh no. Emma murdered Facundo, you bastards. Tell me if he's dead, Sterling. Sterling? Don't tell me that Facundo is dead. Tell us, is he dead? Unfortunately, yes Lapis. Facundo is dead. Oh no, that is a nightmare. Nobody call me a stupid scum bitch. I'm gonna kill you you fucking mother of the fuck. Really, Margaret Anderson. You are a bad girl, bad, 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 bad girl. I can't believe you ran away from here to go with your aunt to San Diego to badly influence you. Now you overstepped the limits. Why did you do that? Because yes, it is because your sick husband wanted to rape me, and you left. You are bad to me. You are really bad. Yes, and what about? My husband did the right thing because you spoiled my life. You are a damn plague that only causes problems for no apparent reason. You are a damn murderer because you murdered the police Facundo because he called you a stupid scum bitch. You deserve to be offended by Facundo and you shouldn't have shot that Facundo police officer causing her death. Thanks to you, Sebastian was left alone because you shot in due of your behavior that does not control you and curses you. I hate you, I hate you mum all my might, I hope you die from cancer or serious coronavirus. Hey shut up look at how you're talking to me. Also, how dare you insult me and wish me to die of cancer or coronavirus. Cannot be? You are a cynic. From tomorrow, we are going to lock you in the bathroom so you don't interfere and so you don't go anywhere. You are going to starve for all the crimes you have committed since 2020, and as a good girl it is a great hypocrisy of yours. That's IT. For running away from us and going with your aunt Giselle, we're going to ground you for the rest of the year. You will be no computer, no internet, no video games and nothing for you because you failed us. Go straight to your room and tomorrow I'll lock you in the bathroom with a double sheet. What are you waiting for? Go away. Now. There are...